Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own Vintage Story dedicated server since apparently no one else on YouTube has done this yet and I don't know why. But if you want to host your own server and don't want to have to pay through a third party one, uh, I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to assume you already have the game downloaded and installed. So first we're going to find our folder. Uh, if you don't know how to get to it, we're going to go to your local drive, users, uh, then it'll usually be your name or whatever you put, and then we need app data. If for some reason you don't see app data, you might have your hidden items turned off. Uh, this is how you do it in Windows 11, Windows 10 very similar. Uh, you're going to pop up your view, show, and you're going to check on hidden items and then app data should pop up. Same thing in Windows 10, it'll be up here somewhere where you can turn on your hidden items. You're going to open up the app data, you're going to open up your roaming, then you're going to find your vintage story server uh, folder, which will be this one here. And then at the bottom, you got your vintage server.exe. We're going to go ahead and run that for the first time. And it'll pop up a bunch of stuff, and it'll probably end up with a bunch of red text at the end showing that it didn't set up correctly, which is fine. So we're going to close that out now that it has done its thing. And we are going to do a few things here. Uh, first thing, we need to get into our router and we need to do some port forwarding and also a static IP. I have a Netgear router. Yours might be a little bit different. Uh, you might have to look up what website you have to go to. but. For Netgear, it's routerlogin.net up here. Uh, once you enter that, it'll ask you to sign in. By default, the username's admin, password. I think by default is password, unless you've changed it. I've changed mine. Go ahead and enter that. If you don't know what it is, you can probably Google what the default normally is. Um, go ahead and sign in, and then you'll be at your home screen here. And the first thing we're going to do is set up a static IP address, which will be in the advanced tab. Uh, the reason we set up a static IP is so that your computer will use the same IP address every time you turn it on. That way it won't mess up your uh, port forwarding and you won't have to change it every time. So to do this, we're going to go um, under the advanced tab, we're going to go to setup, and we're going to go to LAN setup give it a minute to load and then you need to add it down here it might be a little bit different on your router if you don't have a Netgear type router um, but I'm sure you can look up a video tutorial of how to set up a static IP on yours uh, how to do it you're gonna hit add I've already actually added this PC it's right here but what you will do is hit add and if you've named your PC it's usually pretty easy to find um, it'll probably be under device name. Um, otherwise, you can also do command prompt. Another easy way to do it, and just do IP config. Uh, and I'll tell you where you're at right here on IP4. So I'm on 192.168.1.24. So you could just go down and figure out which IP address that is if you don't know what the name of your device is. Um, I've already added this computer, like I said, so mine isn't going to show up in this list. But you basically, you're just going to find yours, hit the little check mark, it'll fill in all the data, and you'll just hit add. But I'm going to hit cancel since I've already got mine added. Uh, we now we need to port forward, which is going to be under this advanced, under the advanced tab once again, and then you're going to go down to advanced again, and port forward slash port triggering. Uh, so we need to add Vintage Story. This is the one that I use on my server computer that I have that's not this current computer, but I will show you how to add it on this one or what yours is. So you're going to add a custom service. Takes a second. You can name it whatever you want. I usually name it the game that you're uh, going to be port forwarding so you know what it is. So you can type Vintage Story. Uh, you only need TCP on this, and 
then external port range. So the default one that Vintage Store uses is 42420. So you can add that and then you can just leave this checked which is just going to make it the same for the internal port. And then you can click but and then on the attached, well for the internal IP address you can manually enter it if you know what mine was 24 or you can go down on the list here find it name of the computer uh, and then the IP address so you can click it here it'll automatically fill it in for you uh, hit apply and you, mine's gonna say it's already in use twice so I will remedy that real quick because uh, yes I do use this one on my server computer so I'll just hit edit on this one so give me a moment and then I'm gonna just change it to this computer and hit apply. So finish story, TCP 42420, current computer, apply. There we go. So now that should be everything you need to do inside of your router. All right. And then there is, uh, I'm just going to leave the servers. I don't know if it's something the people who made this game got it set up a little weird, but um, I find it's easier. I have more success when I add a password to my server. For some reason, it seems to launch more successfully. I don't know why. So I'd recommend doing that, um, which you can do um, in the if you back up to the roaming. Uh, and then go to vintage story data. You can find a bunch of stuff in here and the server configs in this file. If you open that up, there's, I gotta go all the way to the top here. Got a bunch of stuff, but you can name your server, welcome message, and then you can hit your password right in here. By default, it's blank, which means no password, um, but you can enter in whatever you want. Go ahead and save that. And uh, we're going to go back to our vintage story folder and we are going to launch it one more time. And we are probably going to see red text again because there's usually one more thing we got to do. Okay. And now uh, we need to uh, go to the vintage story uh, website and we'll go to server hosting. And where is it? So under the free hosting down here, there is a server command, the slash server config slash UNIP universal plug and play one. We're going to copy that. And you're going to have to do this more than once for whatever reason, like every other time you launch your server, it's going to want, it's going to throw up red text and it's going to want this again, but you're just going to paste it right in here and turn that on and it's going to say universal plug and play mode set to on and then we're just going to simply close and restart the server uh, once again and now if it did it correctly it should fully load yeah once you get to master server response okay it's usually done loading we didn't get any red text this time so we should be good um, now uh, you're going to need your IP address to log into your server and to give to your friends to log in. Uh, there's a million different ways to find it. One that I've just been using for years, I just default to is um, IP chicken. You just type in IP chicken, it's what's my address. And it's going to come up right here. It's going to tell you right what your address is. So we're going to copy that as this. And I am going to launch my game. And we're going to go to multiplayer. And you can add your server here. I've already added one. I'll just hit edit. So what you can enter is your name. You're going to enter your IP address, which I've already done. But I'll back up and repaste it in here. And then the server password, which I had a little one on here. So I just threw it in. And we are going to go ahead and hit save. Now, if all is well, we should be able just to click right here and it should log us in. Oh, 
looks like it's working. It's just got to grab some info. And there we are. We are in our server. And that should be everything you need to know. Thanks for watching. Don't like, don't subscribe. I don't make videos hardly ever. <laughs> Have a good one.